Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to go over how to set up an anchor link in Squarespace 7.1. Um, an anchor link is just a fancy way of saying that you have a link somewhere on the page that scrolls the user down uh, to somewhere else on the page. So, for example, um, I have this set up here, and, and maybe you have a link that's at the top of the page and you want it to scroll. Uh, like in here, we want to scroll the user down to the FAQ section, which is a few tabs down. So um, I've already set this one up so we can kind of see how it will work. So if I click on it, then it scrolls the user right down. Let me refresh. Hold on. I, I promise it works. Um, so now if I click on this, it will scroll the user right on down. And I'm going to show you how to do it. But let me just prove to you that it works first. Okay, there we go. Right? Took me right down to the FAQ. So um, all we have to do, it's sort of two steps and they're really pretty simple. Um, in 7.1, you're going to pop into wherever you want uh, the person to scroll down to, so kind of like the end point. So in here, you'll see if I click into edit this, I have a little string of code that's kind of hidden here. So I added the code block and then I've created a div ID um, and we're going to do that again up here. So I need to you know, uh, send them down for test scheduling down to the test scheduling area. So again, I'm just going to drop in a code block and I'm going to delete this and put in my div ID equals uh, quote FAQ quote and then we'll close the div. Now I'm going to change this from FAQ because obviously the, this was for the FAQ section down here and I want this to be for the test section. So I'm just going to name it test. You can name it whatever you want, whatever makes sense for you. Of course, just make sure that it's differentiated from anywhere else where you're setting this up. So now that we've done that, I'm going to click apply. And then I'm just going to come back up here to my test scheduling uh, link. I'm going to link it. And then I'm going to take um, the, the page that we're on. Um, so this page is partner school admission testing. And that's the page that we're on. And then I'm going to put a hashtag or a pound sign and then add test, which was what we put down in our div, right? And then we'll click apply. So now we've linked that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it again for this one because we have to do that too. So again, we would just do code block here just to write it out so you can see it. Give ID. And then I'm going to change this one to partner. And I'll name it partner. And then again, we'll just come we'll link this one up. Add the link, add the part, partner school, admission, testing, and then again, pound sign, partner, and click apply. Okay, and then we'll click save. Always give it a refresh just in case. And then whenever we open this up now, they should all scroll down to where we want them to go. So the one last important note about this is that you probably are going to want to put your code block um, above the section that you want people to be scrolling down to. If I put the code block for the FAQs all the way at the bottom of the FAQ section, it would scroll me down here, uh, which we don't want, right? So we want to put it at the top of wherever you're trying to get people to scroll to. Um, as we wait for this to refresh, okay, we're back in action. So let's click on test, we'll test the test scheduling. We click on this guy and it takes us down to test scheduling, right? So pretty easy, um, hopefully that helps you guys. I'll also throw that string of code into the blog post so that you can see it. Um, but otherwise, happy coding.